What is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at some of the features which have been added to the official audio update for our oneplus 5 and yeah if you are watching my video for the first time i did a beta series for the oneplus 5 and i have noticed quite a lot of things that have been changed or just been dumbed out cause literally i found many things which are not even available in the official change log so starting with the number one the launcher you don't have a white tint over here at the bottom as before also the icons are now been circled so android audio actually has has five icon options throughout the system i know it's a bit weird but yeah that's what you get so oneplus is going with the circle option which is not bad at all as you can see the play store is circle also folder is circle so it looks quite nice also the folder gets a bit of update there you go there is all new animation also it's completely transparent and you can just slide down to close it also you get all new widget over here which is now adjustable it also shows your weather as you can see over there you can enlarge it but smaller one looks quite nice also the shelf get options for blur on custom wallpapers as you can see the shelf is still a bit laggy i mean the animation is a bit weird hopping to the settings as you can see you have a only option for the app shortcuts now the app shortcuts were really nice in the beta versions but on the official update there are just as any other launcher such as pixel launcher or google now launcher there are same now the one advantage over here is third party support is much more better but on the oneplus version it was a bit tweaked also the ui was a bit different you get instant options for going to the app info which is still available over here but you can directly uninstall the app or have the notification access and stuff which is still accessible over here but i would really appreciate if oneplus would just give an option for that coming to the quick settings panel up top those who have watched my beta series videos the toggles were in dark blue color which was pretty nice as you can see color for the brightness toggle is same as before but the toggles are now white which is a bit weird as you can see i'm not a huge fan of this but we can't help it the profile icon is blue again the brightness ladder is blue just like before just the toggles and the settings icon are now white you get your normal animations over here as you can see nothing in even that hopping to the settings again there is no new major ui change i mean like samsung didn't even change their ui this year then again we can't even expect from oneplus if you go into customization there is nothing new added over here the slit font has been bit tweaked for sharpness going to the display options if you scroll down the lift up display gets a bit of a ui update scrolling up to the screen calibration you get only option for adaptive model now seriously i don't have the idea of what actually it does but it will actually select between these two options for you automatically for example if you select it on adaptive model now it's on like srgb but then again when you're watching videos it will automatically select to the p3 color gamut it does everything for you but i would really suggest to just give it on default going to the battery you have only ui over here which is quite nice also there are more tweaks than the normal stock android for the battery server done by the oneplus so this should actually give you a boost of one to two hours in your normal day-to-day -day usage now if you go to the storage you also have a newer ui over here you can tap free up your space which is kinda easy to clean up your cache now in terms of security there would be face unlock as many of the diehard fans uh, tweeted which was extremely nice of oneplus that they are taking these things into consideration if it was xiaomi or samsung they would listen but they wouldn't just add it because it's against their policies that the newer devices should get the newer features despite the hardware is just available on the older devices but on the beta 2 face unlock was actually available and it just worked flawless like as same as the 5t so face unlock would be coming to our oneplus 5 just wait for some time scrolling down to the advanced you get only option for the bluetooth audio codec now aptex hd and aptex was actually available on the oneplus 3 and 3d but you also get the sbc codec over here which is a nice thing pocket mode has been also enhanced with the newer ui if you just uh, keep your hand over here and just tap space as you can see now it's a full screen ui going to the developer options this might not be interesting to most of you guys but advanced reboot is back into the official update which is nice if you scroll down you have all new gpu render this ki which is much more smoother than before like app opening times are much more crazier with this going to the about phone as you can see oxygen os version 5.0 android version 8.0 we are sadly not getting the android 8.1 which i'm sad about because there are many under the hood changes into android 8.1 coming to the clock if you want to set an alarm you get the option to just type in your time yeah i don't know how much necessary it was but you still get it again if you tap these three icons over here on the repeat you can actually select the date for your alarm like literally uh, once you set the alarm it's for like eternity so that's a very nice thing going to the calculator if you swipe down you get history 
go into the settings again almost forgot about that if you go to the apps you get only option for the parallel apps so not all the apps but you can actually clone some of the major messenger apps such as facebook instagram telegram whatsapp wechat and it just works flawless now coming to the gallery as you can see the ui is now completely white not a huge fan of it but as you can see there is a huge empty space on the top thanks to oneplus 5t and you get only option for places this feature is nothing new you get in almost like all of the galleries but yeah you can actually add location data if you have your gps on coming to the camera this is nothing new as the camera app has been also updated on the android nougat but in the beta one if you just tap on this zoom option it would actually just switch to the second lens which was extremely nice that if i just do it right now it wouldn't just switch to the second lens it will just pick for the opportunity and it will check whether the light is perfect or the focus but in beta one it would just switch which is not now available kind of sad but if you go to the portrait mode it has been highly optimized like literally in number one would be the mi a1 for the bokeh effect and second would be now the oneplus 5 because literally it just works perfect also it uses ai it doesn't depend on the second lens it's just oneplus is fooling us on that part beauty mode added on the portrait mode not a huge fan i would really hope that oneplus adds a hdr effect onto the android 9 because that would be extremely helpful as portrait mode needs a lot of light and when you have a lot of light you kind of just mess up your exposure then again if you want to access all of your options you have to just slide up cards are just bigger than before now they actually stick to the bottom and the top to the status bar as you can see as the clear all button is in middle not as your stock android if you don't already know when i purchased this oneplus 5 which was on like 4.5.8 it was like almost broken it was feeling like a custom rom all the wi-fi channels were not working the camera was bad again the portrait mode was just broken it was just like straight rip off from iphone it was as bad as uh, iphone 7 plus when it was launched but now on android oreo this is one of my favorite devices that i own like literally it's quick it has all the features and then again the front camera is just mind-blowing when compared to a galaxy s8 or an iphone 8 and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching see you in the next one peace